Kate Cummins, Jeff Nguyen is live in Benedict Canyon with an update for us. Jeff. Susie and Jeff, no homes were damaged in the Portola fire, which was started in the hills right above us. Tonight, containment is at 40 percent, but firefighters say we are only at the start of fire season in Southern California. Tonight, families returned home after evacuation alerts and road closures were lifted in the Portola fire. After more than 200 firefighters aggressively attacked the flames along with a team of water and retarded dropping aircraft. This evening, this man in the red plaid shirt told us he was using a weed whacker to clear brush on Portola Drive in the Benedict Canyon area when he accidentally sparked the fire. The LAPD says the accident does not appear criminal. This is cell phone video Mauricio Caceres captured of the start of the fire. He was at a nearby home when the contract worker ran over. He was running down and said, it's a fire in the house. The flames quickly raced through one of L.A.'s most exclusive neighborhoods. Two firefighters had to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries while working in the rough terrain where wildlife butts right up to homes. The fire department says we had a lot of rain early this year, which allowed grass to grow. But that has since turned into dry brush with the recent heat. And we also need to plant to maintain trees because they're the ones that are catching fire because they're because of the drought, they're getting sick and they're dying off. The LAPD says the worker who caused the fire wasn't licensed to clear brush. It's a reminder how good intentions can be dangerous when it's done in the afternoon, which is what Mauricio Caceres witnessed when he had to step in to help. And I, and I put the sprinkler to a couple houses uh, yeah. because I do landscaping. I and the man who told us he accidentally started the fire says that he's not sure how his weed whacker sparked the flames. In the meantime, the fire department says it is planning to keep about 200 of its members in this area overnight to make sure the homes around here are protected. Jeff and Susie, we'll send it back to you. Okay.